Okay, so in this video, we will give an example of the product rule of differentiation. And we will give two solutions, the first without using the product rule, and the second with the product rule. And of course, we will see that in both cases, we obtain the same answer. So what if we want the derivative with respect to x of the product between the function 3x plus 4 and the function 2x minus 9. So we have here a product between two functions of x, so of course we can directly apply the product rule. But if you notice, before taking the derivative, we could multiply this expression out. So in our first solution, let's do so. So 3x times 2x, 6x squared, then plus 3x times negative 9, negative 27x, then plus 4 times 2x plus 8x, and plus 4 times negative 9, negative 36. Before we differentiate, we can again here now simplify these two multiples of x. Negative 27 plus 8 is negative 19, so negative 19x, negative 36. And now we can differentiate using the constant multiple rule, the constant rule, the sum difference rule, and the power rule. So the 6 will stay there, times by the power rule 2x, this will give us 12x, and minus 19 times 1, so minus 19, and of course minus 0. Let's not bother, so we have now our final answer. The derivative of the product between 3x plus 4 and 2x minus 9 is 12x minus 19. Now let us give a second solution using the product rule instead of the expansion. So let's rewrite the original problem. The derivative of 3x plus 4 times 2x minus 9. So if you recall, the product rule states that the derivative of f of x times g of x is the derivative of the first function, which is 3 times 1 plus 0, so simply 3. So the derivative of the first function times the second function, 2x minus 9, but then plus the first function times the derivative of the second function, which is 2 times 1 minus 0, which is simply 2. Now that we have the result from the product rule, we can multiply and regroup. So we have here 6x, but then here plus 6x, that is 12x. And let's look at the constant terms. Negative 27 plus 8, negative 19. So we arrive at the same answer. Now, you might wonder, well, why bother with the product rule if we can instead multiply things out and then simply use simpler rules of differentiation? Well, the answer is that, sure, in this case, we were able to avoid the product rule by expanding out the product, but as we will see later on, this is not always possible. Sometimes you are stuck with a product that cannot be extended, uh, expanded, sorry, and so the product rule will sometimes be necessary.